it was a uh, it was an impossible decision. <laughs> um, we really wanted to be unanimous, um, so like we continued to talk it out until we were. Uh, so you know, it was a lot of back and forth, a lot of profanity, a lot of throwing of punches. <laughs> you know, I, you know, I got a couple of bruises, but you know, I'm, we, we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it. But uh, yeah, we, we finally came to our decision. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. But you're the only one that didn't like Burham's package. Come on. Oh man, that's not my thing. Hey, <laughs> Nigel whispered to me after he's like, "Now nah, everybody's gonna think that I'm gay just for the joke." Just for the, I was like, "Yeah, you gotta pay the price for the joke, man." <laughs> no, listen, what's the best advice? On your fourth studio album. Now, Thank if you. you can pick a song on there that kind of defines the evolution you've been going on as an artist, which have with these. You know, I, I gotta say my, my new single, Cheyenne. You know, it, it, it's literally, uh, it has it has that new, uh, the, the new age of the throwback, you know, from the 80s. Uh, it has it has that, that, that special feeling that we had, you know, from that feel good music in the 80s, but it is a more emotional um, take on it. Um, so, you know, I'm, I'm really excited that people are digging in, digging the video. You know, the, the video is getting crazy views, so thanks to the fans, you know, out there going to watch that video. Um, it, it, it is really one that I put my heart and soul into, so make sure you check it out if you didn't see it. Would you Listen, ever want to do a collaboration with Taylor Swift? She recently brought you on tour at DC and the fans went crazy. Partially yeah. probably because you took your shirt off. <laughs> it, was, it was hot in DC, man, it was hot. Um, uh, Taylor is, is amazing, you know, uh, both a uh, super talented and amazing person. Um, so for sure, you know, I, I definitely see something like that happening. You know, she's somebody that I, you know, talk to and, you know, say what's up all the time, just to say. Listen, what's the best advice you've given up and coming uh, artist? I've been coming artist? Um, it's all about work ethic. You know, you, you gotta work much harder than the, the, the average Joe. You gotta work much harder than the people that are, that, that are around you, because more than likely, they're not gonna, gonna make it, you know? So you, you can't fit in with the mold. You got to do something that's foolish. You got to do something that's crazy, something that is left field. You can't if you if you try to fit within the mold, you'll get lost within it. Um, so you got to do something different. Talk about not fitting in the mold. You mentioned Virgil was crazy tonight. How does Virgil stand out to you? Uh, Virgil is one of the stars of the show, and I and I, I do see him going really really far. Um, and uh, he seems to, he seems to be a crowd favorite as well. Um, so, you know, it, it, there's not much to be said about him. He's, he's really just uh, amazing through and through. Um, I, I think this, this show has a lot of heart. You know, it, it, it's, it's a, it's a, it is a competition show, but it, it's a show that um, people actually care about because, you know, you, you, you get to know these dancers and they, and they become a part of your family. Um, so, you know, I, f I feel like this, this show really pulls at the heartstrings and, you know, you have the, some of the best dancers in the world. You get to watch, you know, that. So put those together and you got, you know, one of the greatest shows of all time.